Hello everybody, PyTech here and welcome to my new video. Today we are going to talk about the Lineage OS 15.1 for Galaxy S7. So the first thing I want to show you is the OS version or Android version by going into settings and about phone. You can see that the Android version is 8.1.0 Oreo. You can see the Oreo cookie and of, of course the Oreo Easter egg also which is the octopus here which for some reason is a little bit laggy. So you can see that the OS version here is 15.1. This is the latest 10th January 2018 build with the 5th January security patch for Android. Talking about the ROM itself, uh, this is a beta version, so everything works. Uh, it can be used as a daily driver. However, you will see a bit of stutters um, here and there during your regular operation of the phone. All Oreo features are present, like tap and hold an icon to get the app-specific shortcuts. Uh, works on most of the apps. Uh, the system UI also changes theme based on your wallpaper. So, for example, now I have a dark or a black colored wallpaper. You see that the notification shade area is completely black, as well as the app drawer is black. However, if I change the wallpaper to a different wallpaper, you will see that the UI itself gets adapted to the same. So you can see that the notification has now changed to a whitest tinge as well as the app drawer now is white in color. So this is again uh, adapted from the Oreo build uh, of the normal Android uh, Oreo. So it's available in this ROM as well. Uh, everything works fine and you can definitely use this as a daily driver even though this is a beta ROM. The battery life is very decent for a ROM that is still in its beta stages. The camera, however, is a tiny bit slow, so switching between the front and the back camera or switching between camera to video, you see that it takes quite a lot of time and even capturing uh, photos or videos on this particular camera is much slower than what we are used to on the Galaxy S7 stock uh, camera application. But otherwise, uh, it's a good ROM that you can use uh, if you want to have a taste of Oreo even before uh, Samsung officially launches it, you can definitely install this ROM. So let me go ahead and show you how to get this ROM installed on the Galaxy S7. Okay, so let's quickly check how to install this ROM. So like you can see here, I have uh, my phone which is currently fully cracked, it had a bad fall. So the best part about this situation now is that I can uh, try different ROMs and show you guys how it works on the S7. So the first thing that you need to do is boot into TWRP recovery. In order to do that, you press and hold the home button, the power key and the volume up keys together. And once you do that, you see the S7 logo, you can let it go and the phone would boot into TWRP recovery. Once we are here, we'll just click on wipe, click on advanced wipe and then select Dalvik system data and cache. Do not wipe out the internal storage, otherwise all the data on your phone, which is your music, your photos, videos, etc. will get deleted. So then we'll do swipe to wipe, should just take a couple of seconds. And then let's go back, back, back again and now click on install. And now find the location where you have downloaded your files. So we'll click on Lineage OS 15.1 and then we'll swipe to confirm flash. Again, it should just take a couple of seconds for this ROM to be installed. And as soon as this ROM is installed, we have to uh, also flash the G apps package so that you get your Google services and your Google uh, Play framework installed on the phone otherwise you will not have any google applications installed on the phone including the play store okay it's almost done yeah so you can see that uh, this installation was a success so now let's go back and install the G apps package.
Okay, now this is successfully flashed. Now we'll just click on reboot system. And now the phone should boot into the Lineage OS 15.1. The first boot will take some time, so just be patient. Uh, don't try to force reboot your phone or do anything else. Just be patient, give it a couple of minutes, and you will see that the system boots into Lineage OS in a few minutes. That's it. So we are booting into the Lineage OS now and all you need to do is set up the phone. So once again, if you like what you saw, please click on like and subscribe and also click on the bell icon to receive notifications of my future videos. I keep making videos like this and if you want any other ROM to be tested on the S7, please let me know down in the comments section so I can test it out and give you guys a review. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.